Hey folks, in this video I show you how I upgrade my Neptune 4 Pro from this to that. All parts shown here can be downloaded completely free of charge. Well, you have to pay for the filament yourself. But you can then choose the color and material according to your preferences. I used Marble PLA from Polyterra for these parts. As I was not so happy with the wiring of the printer, I installed some of these cable chains. Now the cables no longer rub against other parts and I think it also gives the printer a much nicer look. I have also installed a belt tension stopper on the Y-axis, which prevents the knob from rotating. And I did the same for the X-axis so that these two belts do not move due to vibrations. I've added a holder for the glue stick and pliers at the bottom, because I often need them. And they didn't have room on this holder, which is made for all the tools that come with the printer. On the build plate I have attached these three corner guides, they make changing the plate even easier. For me these are the 6 best printable upgrades I have found. I have links to them below in the video description. And as I said, they are all free. Now let me show you a few more details of these parts. For the cable to the extruder, I decided to use this spinal cable guide simply because I think it looks cool. The links can be plugged into each other and in my setup I needed a total of 23 links. The first one can be attached directly to the metal guide of the extruder, which as you can see is a bit fiddly, but once attached it holds very well. All other links can be slipped onto the cable individually and then clicked together. This link cannot be fitted to the Neptune 4 over the metal guide, so I have cut the part to make the connection to the first one. The model I have used is specially for the Neptune printer, but it can certainly also be used for other printers. The extruder cable runs a little too close to the Z-screws for my taste, the cable chain shown here routes the cable further back. This piece consists of two parts that I have glued together. Then it can simply be clipped on and holds firmly. The cable must then be folded like that and can be secured with this first clip. And the rest is then held in place with those small clips. Now the cable chain can be attached downwards. To attach the chain to the bottom of the printer you need this part, which I had to print three times because it kept breaking during installation. And even the third part broke when I was clumsy putting the chain together. So I had to reinforce with some fiberglass and epoxy at this point. It is best to first push it as far as you can into the lower T slot, and then press it upwards into the upper slot. The chain links are easy to join together and the chain is closed on the other side with those small clips. A few clips didn't fit tightly, in this case I heated them with a lighter and bent them a bit. This one is obvious. There are various corner guides to ensure that the build plate is always mounted in exactly the same way. They are designed to be attached with double-sided tape. However, this did not hold well in my case, which is why I glued them on. But because of this, they stick out a little too high and get in the way of the large fan. And because I'm lazy, I simply shortened them by using clippers. In my case, the cable to the build plate always touched the motor when moving. As you can guess, there is also a cable chain for that. Although the chain is made for the Neptune 3, it also fits my Neptune 4. 
but for the Neptune 4 you need a different mount for the attachment at the base of the printer. I will link both in the description. You can simply attach it to the back of the printer by removing this plate and replacing it with the chain mount. I then removed a cable tie from the connector on the build plate and attached a new one through the chain at the same point. On the other side I have attached a holder for a glue stick and my pliers, as I often use these on the printer. This part was difficult to fit, maybe I should have used different slicer settings. However, with a bit of gentle force it went in after all. Now only the display cable remains. It doesn't rub against anything, but when I stowed away all the other cables, I also wanted to get this one out of the way for a clean look. This part is actually not more than a shelf on which the spiral cable lies under the display. The part is attached to the display holder with three screws. On the usefulness scale, I would give it a 2 out of 10. But I printed it anyway. Since I never take the display off the holder, I prefer not to have a cable lying around in front of the printer. Of course, I could have run the cable under the printer without this part. But I printed the part first and then only thought about it when it was already done. These belt tension stoppers are somewhat more functional. As the name suggests, they prevent the belt tension from changing, which can be adjusted using two knobs. As the printer is very fast and therefore generates a lot of vibrations, these knobs can move a bit over time. And those small parts stop that from happening and give you a more consistent belt tension. These were some of the best free printable upgrades I could find for the Neptune 4. In the next video I will show you some more upgrades, but then with parts that need some additional bought items. If you don't want to miss it, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you found the video interesting, I would appreciate a like. And as always, please let me know your opinion in the comments below. Take care and see you next time.